Brad Vaughn from Highland Ranch, Colorado. And I'm here representing myself and my family. I'm a father of four. I'm a business owner here in, uh, over in Douglas County. And I uh, just uh, wanted to come to you with a couple observations that I've had sitting in this meeting today. And uh, I've heard a couple of times already that uh, people have talked about students that have been educated here within our system going out of state in order to get their college education. Well, there's 12 states, right, that provide that education for them right now at this point. If we become number 13, are we going to get that same flux of people coming to our state? And then how do they spend that three years? Are they going to be here before their, after their freshman year? How does that work out? And how does that um, pan out for our state, having them flood here? Because now they're going to be able to get that college education here and not have that extra ten or twenty thousand dollars in uh, state tuition. Um, I also like to talk about uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's all flipped upside down. Just want to talk about the um, what happens in high school with our children, spending, as we said before, seventy two thousand dollars for our kids and they leave out and it's they're not finding jobs, period. And whether they're legal, illegal, they're not finding work. I come from Texas. We spoke of that state several times today. When I left the state of Texas, I was required to have two skilled trades. I could not leave my high school or walk off of my diploma without having two skilled trades. Right now in Douglas County, it's pottery and jewelry. I left with welding and meat processing. I was able to put back in my community and put it back into the people who supported me during my time of education. I just ask that we look at that level, if we can teach our children, legal or illegal, a trade, this would be much more helpful than trying to force them into college, you know, into that situation where they're gonna come out anyway and only one third of them will have a job. But if they come out with a trade, more than likely, they will have a skilled job that pays well, they can provide for their families. So, I ask you to look at that. Mr. Long, questions or comments? Sir, thank you for joining us today.